Uh, this car is the brand new uh, 2014 Ford EcoSport. Uh, it's a small SUV vehicle uh, for fun, active lifestyle. Uh, launching it here in Europe later this year with the AppLink feature. And we're actually showing the European production version for the very first time here at Mobile World Congress. Our strategy has been um, to build on our SYNC in-car connectivity platform. Uh, we launched that about five years ago. Um, so far we've got five million vehicles already equipped. But now to start building onto that platform with additional features. So the first of those features is called AppLink. What AppLink does, it actually allows you to run an app on your smartphone and then interface with that in the vehicle using voice controls. For example, here at Mobile Congress, we announced a new partnership with Spotify uh, to bring streaming music service into the vehicle uh, through AppLink. The other thing that we're doing is continuing to add new features and new functionality uh, to the basic platform. So for example, with Sync, uh, we have an emergency call feature. If you have an accident, it'll make a call to the emergency services. Other traffic, weather, uh, information that we can bring into the vehicle provide that support to the customer to make for a better driving experience. We developed it in partnership with Microsoft, but the strategy was to be open and device agnostic. So whether it's an Apple device with the iOS operating system, Android device, and you can imagine how many different Android uh, devices are out there. Obviously the Windows, Windows phones, um, Blackberry, they'll all work on the Sync platform. So we don't have that issue of obsolete phones, out of date hardware in the vehicle. People can always bring the latest device in, connect through Sync, and then bring their content in, whether it's an app that they're running on the smartphone, whether it's music that they've got on the device. Stream that into the vehicle through AppLink using the voice controls, have a really high quality, uh, great user interface in the car. If we start to think a little bit further out, you can imagine vehicles that are actually connected either to each other or vehicles that are connected to the infrastructure. We've got research projects in an area that we call V2X, uh, vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to infrastructure communication. And by now imagining the vehicle as a series of nodes in a connected network, we can make for a safer and a more efficient driving experience. V2X is something that we're doing collaboratively, working in partnership. Uh, clearly there's no value in a system where Ford vehicles can only communicate with Ford vehicles, so we're developing the communication standards, the messaging protocols, um, infrastructure requirements. Uh, we have collaborative programs here in Europe, we have collaborative programs in the US, and it's a technology that's going to be proven out over the next 18 months to two years uh, before we start to uh, really validate uh, production. You know, at Ford we've got focus on the vehicle as we know it today, personal ownership, the driving experience, design, you know, the, all of the things that we know and love about our cars today. But at the same time, we're looking ahead to say, what does this future of personal mobility look like? Particularly in urban areas, in cities, where you've got very dense populations, you've got huge congestion issues. How can we provide a mobility service that maybe extends beyond the personal vehicle ownership that we have today? So looking at different business models, different ways that people will get access to transportation, multimodal, um, so cars, trains, part of an integrated network. Last year here at Mo Mobile World Congress we uh, presented our blueprint for mobility and we talked about a lot of the things that we're working on there. Very interesting space to be getting into.